Hello everyone, Mauro here. In this lesson, we're going to look at the different ways to reset Windows 11 while removing everything from the hard drive. So what exactly is a factory reset? On Windows 11, factory reset refers to the reset this PC feature. This tool allows you to restore your computer to its factory default settings. You can choose between using the local image or downloading a fresh copy of the operating system from the cloud. The process removes all your personal data, settings, and install apps, providing a clean slate. It is important to know that you can access the factory reset options from the desktop or through the BIOS using the Windows recovery environment. Since this process erases everything on the computer, it is critical to create a full backup or at least create a backup of your files before proceeding. Okay, let's dive into different ways you can reset your computer to the factory default settings. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. Okay, first we're going to look at the steps to reset the computer to the factory default settings from the desktop when your device still loads correctly. And to do this, open start and look for settings and then open the app. Now go to system and then open recovery. In here, we're going to click the reset PC button. And then we're going to choose the remove everything option. Now you have two options. You can choose the cloud download or the local reinstall. The local reinstall option uses the Windows 11 image that is locally available on the computer. You can use this option when you want to reinstall the operating system quickly since it takes less time than using the cloud download. This is the option that you want to choose if you have a branded computer, such as one from HP or Dell, because the local reinstall image might include the custom image created by your manufacturer, which might also contain custom configurations, drivers, and tools. Now, the cloud download option downloads a fresh copy of Windows 11 from the Microsoft servers. This option takes more time to process as the computer has to delete the files from the cloud. You should use this option when the local reinstall option doesn't work or you don't want to restore the custom image that came with your computer. To continue, select the option that you want to use to reinstall the operating system. On this page, the feature is going to give you some additional details on what's going to happen when using this particular option. As you can see, the reset this PC using the remove everything is going to delete all your apps and files, but it's not going to clean the drive. That means that it's only going to delete the files. It's not going to securely erase everything on the computer. Also, it is important to know that this feature will only delete all the files from the Windows drive. So if you have multiple drives, this feature should not delete the data on other drives and it will reinstall Windows on the computer. Now, this is optional, but we can click here and on this page, we have different options. For example, we can turn on the clean data option and that will use a different process to erase everything on the computer to make it harder for anyone to try to recover files on that drive. But this will take a lot of time. So this is a good option if you try to get rid of the computer and you're not going to keep it. Now, if you have multiple drives on the computer and you want to delete the data on all the drives, you can turn on this feature right here. And finally, if you turn on this option, what's going to happen is that you're going to switch from the local reinstall option to the cloud download, because this is the option that will trigger the download for the operating system files from the cloud. So for this video, I'm just going to use the default settings. So I'm going to turn this off and then I'm going to click the confirm button. Now click the next button. And the feature will one more time show you what's going to happen when you use the reset this PC feature. So when you're ready, just click on reset and the feature is going to take over and it's going to restart and perform the reset. Thing to point out is that when using this feature combined with the remove everything option, you technically will be doing a clean installation of Windows. So you will have to go through the initial setup to create an account and configure your initial settings. Then you will have to reinstall your apps, configure your settings and restore your files from backup. Now, the system is going to continue resetting the installation, deleting everything on your computer. Once this process is complete, you will have to go through the initial setup, also known as the out of box experience. Since the initial setup is the same when resetting the computer from the desktop and from the BIOS, make sure to skip ahead to the portion of the video that gets you through the initial setup.
You can also reset your computer from the BIOS by accessing the Windows Recovery Environment. And to do this, you need to start the computer. And as soon as you see the Windows logo, press and hold the power button to power down the computer. Turn your computer back on. And as soon as you see the logo one more time, press and hold the power button until the computer shuts off. Repeat this two or three times, and then the computer will automatically start on the Windows recovery environment. Now, Windows 11 includes multiple ways to open the recovery environment. So check the video description that I have another tutorial on how to do this and all the different ways. Now, when you get to this page, click the advanced options button, then click on troubleshoot and then click on reset this PC. And then we're going to be using the remove everything option. Now, similar to the feature available through the desktop, we have two options, cloud download and the local reinstall. Depending on how you want to reset the computer, choose the option that applies to you. For this video, I'm just going to choose the local reinstall. Now, if you have multiple drives on the computer, you can choose to erase everything on the drive where Windows 11 is installed or on all the drives. This option is up to you depending on how you have your computer set up and what you want to delete. Now, if you're trying to get rid of this computer and you're going to give it to someone else, it is best to choose the all drive option. If you plan to keep your computer, you may want to choose only the drives where Windows is installed option. Now on this page, we have two options, the just remove files or full clean the drive. Now, if you use the just remove the files, the feature is going to delete all the files on the drive, but it's not going to do it cleanly. So using different types of software, it might be possible to recover some of the files. Now, if you use a fully clean the drive option, then the feature is going to use a different process to delete everything on the computer to make it harder for anyone to try to recover the files on that drive. This option is going to take a long time if you select it. If you're keeping the device, select this option. Now, the feature, it's also going to give you a summary of what's going to happen when using the reset this PC while removing everything. Once you're ready, click the reset button. To complete the reset, we have to go through the initial setup. First, choose your region and click yes. Now select the keyboard layout and click yes. You can skip the second keyboard layout unless you need to configure one. Now click the set button to continue. It is best to select a name for your computer because it will help you to keep your computers in the network organized and you'll be able to identify this device on your Microsoft account. This page is only available for Windows 11 Pro. Windows 11 Home will have this page. And here, just select the Setup for Personal Use and click Next. Now, click the Sign In button. Now, if you want to skip the Microsoft account configuration, make sure to check the video description that I have another tutorial on how to set up your device using a local account. And here, sign in with your Microsoft account. Click Next. And I'm using the Microsoft Authenticator app. So that's what I'm going to use to log in. On this page, choose your privacy settings. Make sure to scroll down to make sure that you review all the settings. And then click the Accept button to continue. Now, Windows 11 also allows you to restore your computer from backup if you use the OneDrive storage. However, for this video, I'm just going to click on More Options. And then I'm going to set up this computer as a new device. Click the Set Up as a New PC option again. On this page, you can tell Windows how you're going to be using the device so that the system can personalize tips, ads, and recommendations. Usually, you want to skip this option. Skip this option. Skip this option. Click No Now. Click on Next. Click the Skip For Now option. And that's it. Those are the two different ways that you can use to reset Windows 11 while removing everything from the computer. Now, it is important that you restore your files from backup. You also have to reinstall your applications and you also have to reapply your settings. Also, don't forget to go to the Windows Update settings and make sure to download all the latest updates. Also, make sure to go to Device Manager and confirm that all your devices are configured 
and no other drivers are needed. If there is a conflict or something is not working with the drivers, you will see a yellow exclamation mark on the actual device that you need to update the drivers. If you want to update drivers, make sure to go to your manufacturer support website and use their instructions to install the latest updates. Another way that you can make sure that you have all the drivers installed on your computer is by going to the Windows Update Settings and from the Advanced Options page, make sure to go to Optional Updates. And if there are any updates for drivers available, you will be able to download them from this page. That's it. Let me know in the comments the option that you picked to reset your computer. Also, let me know in the comments the type of content that you like me to continue covering on this channel. As always, remember to like the video, share it, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.